So, so th think about yesterday. Uh, we are there where Jesus would have had his last supper. They walk over to the garden. That's where Jesus was arrested. And then he would have been brought to the house of the, the high priest. And they would, have, they would have tried him there that night. And as they brought him that next morning, they would have took, handed him over to the Romans. And this is where he would have been held that day. The, uh, it, it's here that n now he's under he's under Roman control. Here's this is uh, Antonio's fortress. This is where uh, the, the the soldiers would have been in charge of 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 uh, holding him and securing him and making sure that that he was ready to go before a pilot to be tried. And so we're going to pick up the story. Um, there, what's happening outside, if you remember, uh, Jesus faces Pilate. Um, he's asked the question, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, it, it, it is as you say. And while he was being accused by the chief priests and the elders, he answered nothing. And the Pilate said, you do not hear how many things they testify against you. But he answered not one word so that the governor marveled greatly. So Jesus, Jesus is brought out to the crowd and the crowd begins to, to cry out, crucify him, crucify him. And that's when Pilate has him um, brought back into the praetorium and into the, the arena here. It says, and the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the praetorium, gathered the whole garrison around him. They stripped him. They put scarlet robe on him. When they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed on his right hand, and they bowed their knee before him, and they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat on him, and they took a reed, and they struck him in the head. And when they had mocked him, they took the robe off of him, they put on his clothes, and they led him away to be crucified. Well, they, they crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They divided my garments among them, for my clothes they cast lots. Um, they kept watch over him there, and they put him uh, over his head, the accusation written against him, this is Jesus, King of the Jews. So th th this would have been where the games would have been played. This is where they were mocking Jesus. This is where they were spitting on him. This, I mean, th this is a place where... Uh, with, with all of that marking down there, pretty much identifies what was what was transpi what's transpiring right right in this this spot here. Um, on, on our last day, we'll make our journey to where he would have been led, and we'll be sitting in a garden tomb where his body would have been taken after the crucifixion. It's in, it's in a it, it's this is the path. This is the the, the journey Jesus took in order to purchase you for his own. He became that lamb in the swaddling clothes that was offered up as the sacrifice for us. The perfect, sinless, unspotted lamb who came to take away the sins of the world. And here was a significant place where um, all of all of the humiliation, all, all of the—I mean, here's the Creator of the world, the one, the one who, who made everything. Here, being spit on by the cr thing He created, being being mocked by the very people that He died for, <coughs> and th that's us. I, I spit on him I don't know how many times. I mocked him how many times. By the way I live, by my, by my rebellion, my disobedience to him, and yet he did it because he loved me. And he loves you. And, and the, the, the only response to that is that we love him because he first loved us. 
it's only our response to his love that that we can we can show any kind of acknowledgement and appreciation it's that's us now living our life for his glory and for his kingdom and he did it because he loves you he did it because he would give his own son in your stead and he did father what a what a what a joy yeah just to or we say we walked on the very ground that you walked on God, what a, what, a, what a sobering thing to think, God. We're, we're, we're standing in the very place that you suffered for us and you were humiliated on our behalf. You know, all we can say is thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for loving us this deeply. Thank you that you made a way, God, and that your way is the only way. We ask that you be glorified. We thank you and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.